Hi, okay. Uh, welcome to workshop 4.2, 2D conical combustion chamber for ANSYS design modeler. So again, this um, tutorial just shows you how to create a 2D model using sketching uh, for a combustion chamber. So the objectives are sketching and modeling in 2D. So first things first, drag and drop a geometry. There's no import in this uh, workshop, so what we want to do is start with a design modeler. First things first is to make sure your units are correct. So units in millimeters. Um, what we want to do here now is um, draw the sketch itself. So X Y plane. Look at new sketch. Go to sketching, and the first thing that we're going to do here is draw a horizontal line from the actual center point um, and keeping it constrained on the x-axis. So point and then to there. Okay, so once is there, that's got a point, <clears throat> that had the H and also the C to know that it was constrained. So what we want to do now is give it a general dimension. So dimension general, give that a length of 68.41. So that's that sorted. Next thing what we want to do is um, again we're going to be using a another polyline function. Um, and the polyline function you can see there's going to be quite a few steps. There's one, two, three, four steps that we want to do. And the key thing here is we want to make sure that it's all correctly uh, constrained. So it will start from here, go up, um, and then from there it will be horizontally correct. And then we're going to um, open end the loop. So here, draw polyline. We start from here. Make sure it says P. Uh, I mean, you can always use this button here which brings it into view, so it's a bit more closer. So we've got P, make sure the vertical and C are um, highlighted. Click and then go horizontally um, across and then click here. And then the fourth thing we need to do, um, Control Z. So that was 68.41. Polyline. Polyline up V C H C keep that nice and straight and then right click open end. Okay, so now that's that done, we can now um, give it some dimensions. So again Go to uh, general. This is going to be three millimeters. Um, once we have that, we can then give the top one also a dimension as well. And that one's going to be 23.41. Okay, so these are nice and constrained. They've got uh, distances and lengths. So the next step now is again, we're going to use arc by center. Um, and the point of the arc is going to be the actual center point here and then the first one is going to be here and then we roughly go across and stop round about here so draw point uh, center by arc arc sorry arc by center um, so it says here click and press to hold the center of the circle so point then it says release and define the start angle. So start angle here, and then we're going to stop run about here. Okay, so we've got that now. And now what we want to do is we again we're going to use um, a polyline tool to do the following steps. So ensure only the p constant is visible here at step one and then the others uh, we don't have any p points but we make sure that there's the h and the c so again polyline make sure the point p we have there um, we then go 
down to round about here. Um, we go horizontally until we see the C. Click here. We then go down, make sure we see V and C. And then we come out and we see the C and the H. OK, and then right click, open end. So we've got something very similar like this. So these are just approximate locations because the uh, dimension will uh, configure them uh, to where they need to be. So um, let's have a look at the dimensions here. So the first dimension we need to do, um, we can see here, is going to be the top surface, this one here. This one's going to have 13.74. So H4, 13.74. Thirteen point seven four gives it that value there, and what we want to do is give it the next one, which is this one here, and it's going to have a value of four millimeters. And the next thing what we want to do is give it equal length, so constraints equal length, this one to this one, so they are constrained now, and that's our equal length. So what we want to do now is obviously create um, an angle um, to make sure that the angle is correct and it should be 60 degrees. So we go to dimension, go to angle. It's going to be between this edge, this um, axis here, and this one here. Right click, alternative angle, right click, alternative angle, right click, alternative angle, and that's the angle that we need. So 60 degrees. OK, and that's that fixed. Now, again, here, what we want to do is we're going to use the draw toolbox, select the arc by center, and what we want to do is click on a few items here. So, again, the center of origin is here. The first point, obviously, is from here, and we then approximate and drop it off here. So, draw, arc by center, center is, make sure there's a P here. First point is there. And then we approximate, um, make sure there's no C or H or anything. So just approximation and drop it there. Once we've done that, we then need to draw a line to connect these two points. So from that point to that point, and that's constrained now. So what we need to do now is make sure that they're parallel. This one's parallel to this one. So constraints, parallel, this one to this one, and you can see now that they're completely parallel. So again, now here we need to give it a general dimension. So general, give that a dimension, and that's going to have a value of 9 millimeters. Let's port it closer. And here now, so we can review the sketch, um, you can see that it's 60 degrees, 68.41, 23.41, 13.74, 9 mil, 3 mil, and 4 millimeters. So when you're planning something like this, it's always good to split the edges because um, some of the tutorials require a hex mesh. So what we want to do is we want to plan ahead and make sure because we're going to use a hex mesh tool, we need to split some of the edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to split at select, split at edge selection um, and use those methods. So going into uh, modify split, let's just split it here and split it here. So we've got two split edges and what we're going to do is we're going to um, constrain those um, and make sure that they're absolutely correct. So the first one here, what we can do is these two can be equal length. So constraints equal length this one to this one and you can see that that's correct and also we can do the uh, bottom edge um, as well so this one this one and they're absolutely correct as well so once that's done we can then uh, go to concept surface from sketches sketch one apply generate and you can see that it's here i mean you can take it further because you can run this as a 2D simulation, or what you can do is rather than creating a surface, um, you can actually revolve this. So you can delete there, 
you can use a revolve function, uh, revolve that sketch along this axis, apply, generate, and you can create a 3D combustion chamber. Okay, so that's the uh, tutorial for this section.